we'll guide you through how to fix slow download speeds in Steam. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video and let's get into this. Firstly, what you want to do is head to the top left of Steam and click on Steam and then go into your settings. In your settings, head over to the left and go and tap on downloads. What you want to do is make sure you've got the correct download region selected. This is super important because this is the server you're doing the download from. So you need to make sure that the, the download region is as close to you as possible. So what you can do is browse through this list to find the closest server and region to you. So for myself, the UK London is closest to me. Manchester is actually further. But if you're on the US, it's a huge selection. And if you're in Europe as well, make sure limit download speed is switched off. Otherwise, your Internet won't be being fully used. It's also worth allowing downloads during gameplay. It says if this is enabled, Steam may initiate or continue downloading updates while you have a game or, an, or other Steam application running. So essentially, if this is turned off, then downloads will be stopped while you're playing a game. So if you want them to continue, turn this on, but you may go and notice an impact on game performance. So that is one thing to note, but I'm gonna keep that on as I just want to improve download speeds. And the other settings don't matter too much. So what you can do is close this, and what you want to do is fully close Steam. So press Steam in the top left and press exit. Now what you want to do is actually go and check some stuff on our computer. So what we want to do is click on search and type in task manager, just like this. In our task manager, head over to the left and you can press this menu button if you'd like. And then we want to go into performance and in performance, head to the top right and press on the three dots and then tap on resource monitor. Then what we can do is go and monitor what our PC is sort of using. And we want to go and click on network because then you can go and see what else is using your network um, because then what you can do is close that um, and because then that's going to go and allow Steam to go and have more sort of bandwidth if that makes sense. So you may notice here that another launcher is doing an update for a game and so you could then stop it. For example here, Epic Games is only using a very small amount but if it was large, all I could do is go and close it or I can either right click it here and press end process in here as well but it's probably best to go and close it and, or just pause the download in the application itself. Using the resource monitor is just a good way to identify what other applications are using a lot of your internet connection up. And finally, if possible, try and use ethernet or a LAN cable and this is a direct connection from your computer to your router, which can definitely improve your internet connection rather than doing it wirelessly. But I know that isn't possible for everyone. But now open up Steam and hopefully your games will start to download faster and updates as well. If you guys found this useful, then please leave a like. 